Before this video starts, I would just like to say thank you guys for 4,000 video views and over 49 subscribers. This channel has grown over pretty well a little bit over the past few years as we just started amazingly four years ago. But yeah, we are back with another video. Any further ado, let's begin. Alright, how's it going guys? Warthog43 here and we are back with another, that's right, NASCAR Racing Tutorial, um, NASCAR Racing 2003 tutorial video. Most of you guys have requested on my last tutorial video that you should do another video. And in this case, we're doing so right now. So, I've got a lot of comments saying that, um, most mods haven't been really working and all that, but yeah, I'll explain that right at the end of the video. Right now, we are back with another tutorial video, and, um, since we did the mods last time, why don't we move on to something else, like, Installing tracks, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Also, the paint schemes. I've gotten a lot of requests that um nobody was able to download paint schemes or it didn't work. So yeah, we are going to do so right now. All right, let's go. So first, go to your favorite mod site. For example, this one, like um this one right here, and you want to go to the track section. Of course, they have a lot of tracks to choose from, just like the mods. Like they have all kinds of mods to choose from. So we got all tracks meaning all. We got road courses like Watkins Glen, uh, Sonoma, or anything else. Super speedways including the, um, the Daytona 500, Talladega, and uh, the California Super Speedway. Speedways like Bristol, Michigan, Martinsville Speedway. And short oval tracks, I'm not really knowing exactly what they are. And dirt ovals, of course, if you have mods that deal with dirt racing, but yeah, you can download that as well. It's gonna work all the same process. But we are going to go for super speedways. So, click that. And then it will take you to this page where it has a selection of over a lot of tracks that were run by NASCAR. So, of course, I'm going to get the uh, the biggest speedway of all, which is Talladega. So, we're going to go all the way down here and choose a, um, a racetrack that you would like. If you're using the 1990s um, mod, then you want to go all the way to 1979. But if you're using the early 2000s, uh, you can come all the way over here. So, we're going to get Talladega revamped 2010. After that, it's going to take us to a different um, web page, which is in this case, noiseracing.com. Also, by the way, um, also they have a lot of years to choose from, so if you just get the regular Talladega version, be sure to look carefully to all of these numbers, of course, obviously the years, because technically that's when they were made. And now that it's done loading, it's going to take you to the screen. If you're getting the same track, then you probably want to listen up. You're going to go all the way down here, it's going to have the same thing just like the website. All the way down to the T section, in this case, Hot 2010. And as you can see, it is loading. It takes like 30.1 um, 30 megabytes to download, but we're just going to skip this video to make the process go faster. I mean, make things faster. So we are going to skip right now, and it should be done. And let's do it. Alright, we are now back, and the patch has been officially done downloading, and as you can see, it's right here, so now all you gotta do is open it. It's an older version of Renoir, as you can see. Sorry for pronouncing it wrong, but yeah. Anyway, do you wanna blah blah blah? Of course, click yes. And then, it's gonna take you to a, um older version of Renoir, don't mind the messaging over here. But as you can see, it is already set where the download should be should be going. So if you're downloading the same track, um, you want to please do this carefully along with me. Um, after that, you can click install. Of course, this isn't, um, I don't know what Spanish this is, Hispaniola in Spanish. I am not a racist person, okay? So yeah. Anyway, now that it's done downloading, it is officially in your files. I mean, yeah, of course, in your files in the game. Now that we are done, we can officially open NASCAR Racing 2003 season. All you gotta do is just, of course, click your game, and then it's gonna start downloading. You can skip all of this. Also, to check if your track is in there, you want to go to single race. After that, go down here to the selections, and we have downloaded Talladega Revamped 2010. As you can see, it's right there. Simple and easy, guys. If you finally get it, um, great, but we are not done with the video quite yet. We are on to another um, tutorial, and that is how to get um, paint schemes into the game. Um, you guys might be wondering how to get paint schemes into the game, and of course it's easy. All you gotta do is go to the paint scheme selection, and they do got a various of paint schemes, but not for every single mod, I think. But they will ha um, provide it for you. So, um, let's go to the 2020 Cup, or Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series 2020. We're gonna get the paint scheme from there, and they only have four because, um, 
only put four paint schemes from the races because of uh, obviously, of course, we're under quarantine. But yeah, so I'm gonna get a um, Phoenix paint scheme of Joe Logano. So it's gonna take us to a different website, and don't worry, the paint scheme um, size won't take up so much space. Obviously, it's just a um, <clears throat> a paint scheme of a car. Like, come on now. <laughs> so all we gotta do is just wait for the um, thing to load, and also. If you are wondering if they have a bunch, then take a look at all of this. Definitely. 100%. Like, literally every single one. I mean, like, I don't know. They got it from every single race, but yeah. Anyway, I'm not sure what's taking this thing a long time to load. Maybe it's because, obviously, I'm recording right now, but that's never the problem. And I don't want to make this video any longer, so just going to skip this real quick. Alright, it's officially um, da um done loading. Kind of, but yeah. Anyway, it took me to sim racing design. If it takes you to sim racing design as well, um, you c it could use the same process. Anyway, here's the paint scheme that Joe Logano ran in. Um, actually, I switched to Las Vegas instead of Phoenix. This is the paint scheme that he ran, and eventually he won the race. So yeah, click download now, and obviously, 1.5 megabytes. It's not gonna take that long. I don't need to skip this, but yeah. Anyway, we are now done. If you're using Renoir, then perfect, but if you're not, I'm going to leave the link down in the description for it. Obviously, I'll leave the links down for everything. So yeah, open Renoir, go to the Extract 2, don't worry, it's already, already in a file. Uh, you want to go to, this is a uh, faster way, so click your C drive over here, go all the way down to Papyrus, NASCAR Racing 2003 Season, Go to series, and after that, go to the series that you are adding the paint scheme to. If you're adding a different paint scheme to a series or a mod, it will not work. So, obviously, the 2020, well, 2019, actually. Um, you want to go to cars, and bam. Simple as that. Now, all we got to do is just come out of here, go back into NASCAR Racing 2003 season once more time, and then... If you have more than one mod, or a bunch of mods, you will have Active Series. So, I'm obviously I'm looking for the 2020 mod, and here it is. Go to Player Info to view all the paint schemes and all that, blah blah blah. Yeah. And uh, go to the number that you got the paint scheme from, obviously it's minus 22. And bam, there you can see, it is officially in there. Very simple and very easy. Yep. Anyway. That is officially it for um, this tutorial video, but um, if you feel like that you can properly do everything for installing things into NASCAR Racing 2003 season, go ahead and try it for yourself. I think um, uh, we are getting a roll on things, but also I've been getting a lot of comments saying that um, the Splash and Go graphics mods haven't been uh, working very well, and I can properly see that. It's because like they have uh, removed, um, not. Nah, they have shut down their server, so things are not going to be working. But there is a solution. If you're looking for Splash and Go mods um, on this game, I have just a solution for you. Of course, go to StunOddRacing.net. They have the same things. Of course, you have to sign in or log in if you have an account already to get the mods. So, if you're looking for a Splash and Go mods from StunOddRacing.net, this thing has been around since 2007, by the way. Um, all you want to do is, no, not forms, you want to go to, um, actually, you want to go to downloads right here. Go to downloads, I'm saying things really weird, but yeah, and something is up with on um, the loading. Okay, so, um, as you can see, there is on um, the 2019 cup mod, um, so if you're looking for splash and go mods, all you gotta do is just go to the mod section right here, all splash and go mods. Obviously, every single one. And how long is this video? Seven, nine minutes. Okay. Um, not gonna make this video any longer. And as you can see, they have every single mod from 2003 up to 2019. And yeah, um, go for it. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I am trying to hit 50 subscribers. Obviously, I need one more. So if you're the only one watching this video, feel free to subscribe and all that. Yeah. Also, um, if you recommend more NASCAR Racing 2003 tutorial videos, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And I might do other videos as well, such as racing recaps episodes. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is officially it. And if you feel like that you can do everything yourself for NR2003, by the way, um, go ahead and do so. I feel like I um, need a pat on the back. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out!